Before Christianity, there were 15 major theological movements around the world with remarkably similar teachings. They describe a messiah who was born in a manger, died, was resurrected, led 12 apostles. It's intriguing to note that Christianity shares these same narratives. This raises questions about the originality of what is presented as a unique truth in Christianity, yet given its similarities in these earlier religions. Ancient Egyptian mythology introduces the sun god's journey where his counterpart Set, the prince of darkness, takes over the night after the sun god sets. The Egyptians celebrated Horus, the rising sun symbolizing rebirth each morning, celebrating Horus Risen, which sounds like Horizon, the Horus's zone, the Horus scope, the scope of Horus at the point of your birth. All of these parallel myths across different faiths suggest such stories are deeply rooted in ancient, which perhaps is why the Bible is often acclaimed as the greatest story ever told. Even Horus was born on December 25th to a virgin with a heralding star in the east. He had 12 disciples and he's even known as the Lamb of God and Light, who after death was resurrected three days later. Addis, a deity from Phrygia, born of a virgin, December 25th, crucified, deceased, three days later was resurrected. Krishna mythology, born of a virgin, associated with a star in the east. His life included performing miracles and ultimately he too was resurrected. Dionysus, the Greek god of wine and festivity, was born a virgin, December 25th, known as the King of Kings, performed numerous miracles, also died and was reborn. Mithra, of ancient Persian origin, born of a virgin, December 25th, having 12 disciples, performing miracles, following a death that lasted three days before his resurrection. I can keep going, but these reoccurring themes not only underscore a pattern of divine or heroic archetypes, but also reflect a profound narrative found in numerous cultures, a narrative that resonates with themes of miraculous birth, sacrificial death, and hopeful resurrection. This commonality suggests a shared mythological structure that transcends geographical and cultural boundaries, highlighting universal motives of redemption, renewal, and the triumph of light over darkness, which sounds very familiar when it comes to almost every single movie that we watch. Listen, it's 2024. We're not here to follow religion. You're here to study and see the universal truth and the universal allegory that's within everything. As above, so below.